I would describe research at Emily Carr as collaborative and grounded in making. The fact that we are a small art school, you know everyone, you know where the resources are and you can access them quite, quite easily. So we're not just form makers or artifact builders or image makers, we're design thinkers uh, and we're design researchers and we apply that knowledge to outcomes. It's not um, only looking at formal questions of visual language, but through visual language, um, asking and looking at questions um, that pertain to society at large through cultural investigations. We're looking for the crossover between disciplines. We, in fact, when we're doing research, just in, in reality, create more questions. How can research begin to broaden the conversation that I'm putting forth with my own artwork? How can it build a depth of information that gives me material to respond to? Emily Carr can really take a role, and our work together can take a function of really exploring and defining what research creation is whether it's with other universities or with company partners, they're looking for designers, they're looking for creative thinkers and creative problem solvers, and that's who we have. And I think doing research here permits you to combine all aspects of uh, creativity. You know, how do we make something that informs our thinking, and how do we use that new information and then put that back into making? It's always dealing with making, but context, the social context, the world that we live in, in tandem. Creates opportunity that may not exist to that degree elsewhere. Sort of leverage our creative interests. But typically there's, there's a gap, there's a place where people understand that art and design and that creativity and that like ideas are super, super important. 